Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the day one of the 30 days API testing challenge. If you haven't watched the introductory video, I will highly recommend you to watch it because that will basically give you why it is important to do this challenge, right? And so let's start with the day one and the task of the day one is that uh, define what is API testing and share your declaration on the cloud. Right. Uh, you can download this uh, PDF. I'm going to put the link below in the description. You can download it. And basically, uh, after that, uh, you can basically write it down and not means depending upon you, uh, just make it check when you are done with it. Right. All right. So uh, the first challenge or the day one is that what is an API testing and share your definition of the club. So first thing first, I will highly recommend you to go to a Wikipedia page, right? To learn about what is API testing, right? So let's see, I'll go along with you and uh, let's see API testing Wikipedia, right? So let's see what they have. Right, right. So uh, if you go through it, API testing is a type of a software testing which in, involves that uh, that involve the testing of application programming interface directly and as a part of integration testing to determine if they meet the expectation of the functionality, reliability, performance, and security. Right. So quite complicated definition, right? I understand. But uh, since uh, now let's read it further. That since API lacks the GUI because API don't have GUIs, right? API testing is performed at the message layer or business layer, right? So API testing is now cr considered very critical for automation testing because API is now serve as a primary interface for the application logic and because of the GUI test are difficult to maintain with the short release of cycles and frequent changes commonly used with the agile software testing and DevOps, right? It's a quite complicated definition, guys. And I know it's very difficult to it, right? So uh, this is my views, especially, and uh, I'll, I'm going to explain you in a very, very, very uh, simple manner. So this is the URL of uh, my blog, which is scrolltest.com. I have written an extensive guide. It's a guide or definitive guide for API testing. And let me explain you according to it. So consider this, uh, consider this scenario, right? So suppose you go to a restaurant, right? And suppose you go to a restaurant, right? And this is you as a client. You basically ask uh, that, okay, I want uh, this dish, right? For example, so waiter, what waiters is that uh, basically it basically noted down everything, right? And it's gonna ask, uh, tell the chef to prepare something, right, for you. And after that, chef will prepare the food, and waiter will come to you and serve you that thing, right? So the the part of the waiter, which is basically a business layer, waiter understands what client is saying, waiter understands the sh what chef is saying, right? The same thing. So that's what an API actually. It is acting as an API, right? So now understand in a practical manner. So client, most of the time we have is that browser that we have, right? For example, it can be a browser, it can be a service which basically can communicate with other service, right? So API stands for the application programming interface, right? It's a basically an interface between two applications, right? So it's basically a collection of functions. It can be a collection of functions or processor and which can allow use to communicate between the two applications or libraries, right? So uh, this is what it is. So uh, for example, we have a browser which basically requests something. It makes a get request, post request, basically something like this. And it basically going to use an API, certain functions. So for example, in case of a uh, JSON is basically going to make a HTTP method request get post. I'm gonna explain you what is it. It basically uh, performs a request and what API does is that it understand the request. It basically going to the database or a backend, which has a different programming language. It can have a different programming language, right? So uh, this, uh, this part, this part can be in a different language, like for example, .NET. And this part can be in a simple language like HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, right? So this basically makes a request and api basically understands it and basically asks this the uh, this is the this is the request and after that it's basically going to respond back to you right so that is what an api is right so if you want to test this api that is what exactly mean by api testing right so here they have mentioned right 
so uh, now if you come api testing is now considered critical for the automation testing and because the api is now serve as a primary interface between the two application uh, primary interface to the application logic and the base because of the GUI difficult to maintain with a short release of cycles and we could so because GUI testing because if you do GUI testing right or if you do fun functional front-end testing it will take a lot of time so what you can do is that you can directly hit the business logic in it, right so I hope I have a one more diagram which is a uh, uh, business layer one what where it is okay so uh, if you know this is the GUI layer, right? And API is basically business layer, which is called as BL. And this is basically database layer or backend layer, whatever you can say, right? So all, all the basically functions processor are there, right? So business layer basically understand the concepts and it can basically can make certain decisions, right? So that's we are basically testing in it. So API testing is critically important because uh, especially because GUI testing are very much difficult to do it and with because we have shorter cycles we have very frequent cycles so people prefer to may to use API testing instead of full functional GUI testing right so that's where they wanted to tell uh, they wanted to basically explain that piece right so the first uh, first term was the define what is API testing so API testing is nothing but testing all, all the APIs which are created uh, because uh, because we want to basically test it out uh, that our APIs which are basically contain the business logic they are working fine right and let's uh, come here so API testing is uh, basically a type of testing where basically we are testing the integration with the services right uh, when we basically going to integrate the service and that integration that we are testing is known as API testing in that case right and uh, it is the one of the most challenging type of a testing if we miss certain cases in api testing then it can cause a very big problem in a production environment and after that uh, full integration basically so it will be hard to debug and there will be high cost that's why people prefer prefer api testing in that case so that was the day one especially which is the defined api testing so i would highly recommend you if you cannot share i will highly recommend you to share this views on this page especially with 30 days api testing day one if you are not uh, doing it you can do it on facebook group also right so uh these are the certain views by the people especially uh what is api and uh, testing they understand right so let's few of them let's learn what exactly is so api testing involved testing with the application uh programming uh interface basically an api directly as a part of a integration testing to determine if they meet the expectation of functionality reliability performance and security pretty much same right very well said uh, and uh, so basically it's a testing to determine if the functionality or reliability functionality reliability performance and security meets the expectations that's what we are doing in api testing right here's an article of the best practices in api testing so that is a uh, totally a different concept uh another point here is that api testing is intent to reveal bugs inconsistency or deviation from expected behavior right it's a type of a testing again so if you are testing an api it means api testing right so basically any deviation inconsistency expected behavior any change in expected behavior that's what we are testing in the api testing right there okay so this uh, person has made a very good notes actually let's read it out right <laughs> Okay, so API testing is a crucial part of a API development life cycle. API testing is intended to reveal the bugs, inconsistencies, or deviation from the expected behavior. Again, the same concept, I guess, right? And why API testing? That is another different question. API, uh, this is by one of the newcomer. API testing is a type of testing that involves application. Uh, again, the similar one. Uh, definition mostly if API stands for application interface, API is a part of several hundred machines, API sensor receives data, no presentation logic. API uh, most most likely handles request response and JSON response. Okay. So again, uh, there is a very good video that they have shared with free WordCamp and they it has explained what is an API. Right. Uh, I will recommend you to read it, but I haven't read it by myself, but okay. This looks very good okay so there are like couple of more views uh, again uh, api testing is a method for testing an application or a service level api testing implements strategies tool to invention whether it's working again the similar things they are just changing the words most of the things are same 
people are sharing they wrote a blog okay interesting they have somebody has written a blog okay hmm. uh what is web api testing so basically we were talking about the uh, web as of now e- even in the example that i am telling you right this is a web api apis can be on the os level also right it can be uh, operating system level where two different services can communicate with uh, apis right uh, operating system can have their own apis so mostly most of the time most of the part time we will be talking about whenever we talk about apis it will be related to web right that you need to understand uh, uh interesting article a uh, smaller one but okay that's fine uh okay i guess i will uh, recommend you to go through the answers and if you can you can definitely write the uh, answer in your own language right so that's all about the day one of the basically uh, define api testing and share on the club i'm not going to share it because uh, i have already written an extensive guide right and if you are serious about learning the api testing especially starting from scratch read this article especially with scroll test i will recommend to read furthermore uh, you will find lots of resources on this one and i'll see you in the day day 2 where we'll explain the more concept to to it right stick stick with me guys stick me with me uh with this 30 days of api testing definitely you are going to get uh, a total grasp what is api testing how to do it properly what are the different tools available and what are the different stv methods and basically creation of end to end automation frameworks even in the end right so that you can implement if you totally understand the api testing right so i hope you have liked the uh, video if you liked that video please comment down below that you have liked it and i'll see you in the next video okay don't forget to comment down below anything that you will like if you have any doubt comment down below if you want to say anything it's a bad video definitely comment down below i will be happy to help you to make it great again all right i'll see you in the next video bye thanks a lot for watching